So why did it even split in two? I don't know. <laughs> what do we have here? Sierra 7? Sierra 7. Total rate contact. What about Sierra 1? That's a different contact entirely, I think. Yeah, these are all the active contacts, but it has been... It looks pretty constant. At some point out there, it was pretty constant. Huh. Interesting. Uh, I don't think he's that close. I was looking that... Well, was I looking that direction? I don't know. Uh, well, he could be heading away, but no, I think it's... I don't know. I don't know what is up with the CR7. And this is some random toad contact that's also seeming to be heading in the opposite direction of us, but potentially toward us and turning. Impose your will on me. Let's see. What's up with our Delta IV contact? Seems to be turning. Could be turning this way. Let's uh, put some history on here. I think it's Control H. No, Alt H. That tells me nothing. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this this seems to make sense as a course. He's like turning slowly to be heading this way. I just don't know how fast we can go to keep our contact with him without compromising ourselves. All right, what we got? What, what's our bearing? One four nine. Yeah, very good. Very good. Bearing error three percent. Still fourteen knots. Still 14 knots, 15 knots, 15 knots, 15 man. Okay, that seems to be pretty good. I don't know. Uh, we're kind of close to being in his baffles, and he's probably going, he's right at the cusp of uh, losing sonar performance due to flow noise. Man, those freaking. I'm still surprised there's like a Russian sub with, uh, the, bow, with the, uh, the, the sail planes. They usually always do the, the fair water planes. But yeah, this thing's a big son bitch. <laughs> Whenever you look at this, it always looks like windows. It's like, what is this a building? It's like, I think there's supposed to be like ballast ports or something, but it still looks kind of goofy. Kind of goofy indeed. Hello, Mr. Active Sonar, you son of a bitch. Okay, but looking at it on here, with this, this here, it's been maintaining. It's been a pretty constant slope of coming from like a, 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 a south to east. Which implies a somewhat constant course, but maybe a gentle turn involved. Uh, if he's been coming this way the whole time, then yeah, that's what it's going to look like. It's going to look like a constant slope. But if he's turning, the slope should change. Hmm. Yeah, he's right in our toad ray baffles. I don't think he's ever going to be coming out of him with the position we're in right now. Yeah. So we only have him on the, on the cylindrical right now. Let's, uh, let's go parallel for a second here. Let's go parallel Come to him. Zero, eight, nine, see if we can reacquire on the conformal here. Try and nail down a different solution. On course, zero, okay, well, we can eight, also figure out what the bearing ambiguity Yeah, that's the bearing ambiguity. Very well. Okay, reacquired him on the toad array in the exact position that he should be in. Let's see here. Okay, we're going to have to let that churn for a little bit. Can't see that much. That's a very strong Delta IV right there. I don't tell you what, boy. One four zero. Check out the solution again. That seems to be a pretty good solution. I think he's going that constant bearing right there. So we are kind of shadowing this Delta IV right now. But I would like to get closer, but I just don't know if that's possible. I don't want to make too much noise here. Seven knots is still kind of feeling a little risky. CR3, 15, CR7. Who's CR7? 11 knots. Well, that's 7 TPK. Let's check out Sierra at 7. Who is this over 198? 198. A Duke. Yeah. Not bloody likely. <laughs> Not bloody likely. Frequency 781. What were we thinking that was before? Grisha? Let's check out the Grisha. Yeah, it's a Grisha, alright. 
uh, 775-320-12550. Yeah, it's a Grisha. Got ourselves a Grisha 5 here. Contact. What's Sierra? Sierra 1 was an active intercept. That could just be someone chilling back in that harbor back there or something. I don't know. They're not the same contact. I know that much. Let's see if we if we take Sierra 1 here and try and superimpose here. 7 on it there. Well, as of late, actually... Let's see. They actually are the same contact as of late. They weren't before. It's kind of weird. Well, let's check out the, the US and I reference. Well, we, the quicker way is just do this. Just get the platform reference from right there. TPK is 8. Okay, so not that far off there. With the TPK of 8 on CR7. So 10 knots. Yeah, oh, I, I guessed that. And I was right earlier. Very good. My intuition is correct. Okay, well, yeah, we can merge them. Merge. It's kind of a little haywire, but it, it's kind of fitting the general same trend line here. Something like right here, I don't know. Patrolling, trolling, trolling. Okay, Master 3 and CR3, you can go ahead and merge yourselves. And the total ray merge tends to point to a triangulation of right frickin' there. Would he have come that close to me, though? I don't know. I don't he could be that close. I mean, it was, it's, if he's going 15 knots, but it is coming up pretty loud and thick. Where was he over here? I mean, look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty loud. That's a pretty strong signal right there. Don't get much better than that. Where the hell is he on the conformal? Okay, the conformal and the toad have different different bearings, which implies triangulation. And if it's is if it is two degrees. Two degrees of separation right here. I could do the math potentially real quick, try and figure out what that is, but I mean you're talking pretty close. You're talking pretty close indeed here. And we are getting kinda of close to the bottom. This does this is a shallow patch coming up here. I can't I just can't keep up with this guy. He's going too fast, it's making too much noise. Let's go up to one zero zero feet. Make my depth. One, Getting zero, a little close to the zero, bottom here. Feet, dive Master 3, increase speed some more. No, I think that's what he was always at. I, I think it was showing an old contact on there or something. Okay, actually, no, 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 no. It's showing it more like down this way. But then, no, it, it's just, it's not, they're not updating at the same time. We can't say any of that stuff for certain. So, probably somewhere around here is where our Delta 4 is. So very good, yeah. Uh, let's, uh... I kind of want to, like, stream the floating wire and see if there's any updates on orders or anything. We're supposed to maintain constant comms unless the situation prevents it. I'd say the situation right here is preventing it, wouldn't you? Hmm. Has our sonar performance degraded at all by coming up here? Maybe a little bit. It does seem to be a little brighter up here. Dun, 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 dun. Bear, dun, dun. No, stay on our center, thank you. Yeah, pick them up on the conformal and the cylindrical. It's not cylindrical, spherical. This isn't a Russian sub. I have a new contact. Bearing zero nine five. Designated Sierra eight. Uh, very well. Uh, let's try a let's, let's resume waypoint follow. That's a pretty good bearing change here. We can try and more try and nail down the solution a little more here. So let's speed up time here till we finish this uh, this turn. Might be able to pick him up on the toad at such a such an angle here, but we will be widening the gap. But I think it's worth it to try and see what he is up to. Delta four. Where would you go? Where you you're right here. Okay, one three five. Yep, that's what the solution says. Okay, the solution is different a little bit. A little more like this. Let's see what the, the whole 20 minute solution here says. Yeah, the toad might straighten out just enough to pick him up on the other side here with the blind spot. I'm not holding my breath though. If we let some more, uh, if we get some more lines on this 
on this change in bearing here, we'll be able to tie down this solution a little bit more. So let's speed up time a little bit here. Just a little bit here, trying to get some more frequency lines. Time on the frequency lines, contact lines. Yeah, he seems to be holding pretty constant here. They're pretty using trend towards this way here. When was the last time we got pinged? Are we getting pinged by this pretty, pretty frequently? This far away set? Yeah. Probably another Grisha or some shit. Zero, another nine, one. Four, another active set. Sierra, what the nine. fuck? Well, besides the fact that you can tell those are different contacts, what the hell? We have some Grisha's inbound or something? Oh no, out of water. Whatever will I do? Don't you worry, I'll find a way to survive. Man, I really want to just like, get up behind this guy and go with him, but he's going 15 knots, man. He's going 15 knots. Master 4 is still that Grisha, still going 10 knots. I don't know why it's showing up twice. I guess I have two trackers on him. For whatever reason. Yeah, I take one of those trackers off. Very good. Okay. And a tracker on this. Who's this? What the hell? Why is it showing up twice like that? Weird. Okay, that's, yeah, old. We know about those. It's probably right here, this Sam set. Probably right frickin' there. Huh, it doesn't matter. Delete, drop trick. What's the new manual solution? Control enter. Oh, I can just like, okay. It's like, uh, doing a little mark. You can just press enter and place a little mark, but whatever. Down, 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 down. We could go a little deeper. This little random ass shallow spot. I'm sure he's going to be going this way. I'm not sure if I'm going to go into these contested waters here. Uh, the only thing that's about the floating wires, you have to go be going pretty slow, otherwise it doesn't even reach the surface. But it could be a very low frequency set. It, doesn't, it might not necessarily have to be all the way to the surface to pick up comms. But, uh I don't know. I feel like it'd be better just to go up to periscope depth and just raise it for a bit. Du, 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 du. We're about to make a turn here anyway. We're about to begin to this waypoint. Uh, let's check out the solution one more time. I don't care about CR8. Uh, yeah, heading the opposite direction for me. Okay, so that's a little reassuring. Probably going 10 knots. Like these other Grisha before it. Yeah, probably somewhere far as balls off like that. That makes sense. It wouldn't be that close. And CR9 is a one hit wonder over here, so I might drop that. I wonder if they like have these deltas are supposed to be meeting up with the surface ships for like escorts or whatever. I don't know how it works around here, around these parts. But yeah, he's holding constant bearing. You can see the, the slope is staying pretty constant here. I don't know if that means you can deduce constant bearing, or a constant course, rather. I'm not sure if that's what that means. Maybe if I didn't turn, that's what it would mean. I think that's right. If I, if I didn't turn, it would mean constant course, but I'm not sure. Okay, the signal strength has dropped off. He's, yeah, getting further away from us, as to be expected. Master 3. What does the solution say? His distance should be... Sonar, I have a new contact. Ooh, hello. Zero. Guys back. Two. Still alive. Zero. That's great. Yeah, he's definitely getting away from me here. <laughs> I don't I can't keep up with him, man. It's asking too much of me. Let's uh yeah, let's go up to Periscope Depth right quick here and see if we can get some updated intel. Make my depth. Zero. Six. Zero. Zero. Let's see what the situation is. Speed up some time here. All right, slide on my five knots and let's raise the radio mast. Make turns for five knots, maneuvering out. Raise the antenna, chief of the watch eye. It might give me a warning about going too fast, but we'll be slowing down soon enough. Now nah, we're fine. Let's see. Well, I could try and dip beneath these greases by going through so through Russian waters at a faster speed. I don't know if there's any radio to be receiving here. Let's see. Give it a few more seconds. 
Oh, nothing. Lower the right. antenna, to watch eye. Down we go. One three zero feet. Make my depth one three zero feet. Dive by. No, but then if going through 15 knots to the Russian Mars is more dangerous than going 7 knots right here. Uh, let's check out the mission status here. Well, it says the mission is complete, but... <laughs> I don't know why it says the mission is complete. I have nothing to believe that it is complete. There's no critical goals. Let's see here. Established cover patrol off Soviet submarine base at Gremiha. Locate and trail Gremiha base SSBN as it transits to its op area. Very well. Okay, I'm thinking its op area is going to be towards these, these Russian contested waters. So I don't think this, I think this mission's over whenever the hell you want it to be over, but you can continue as far along as you want to. What's up with Master 4 here? Wow, Master 4 seems pretty old. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he's definitely going behind us. Is he really this close, though? I guess so. Like, really that close? Like, holy shit. He's been that close this whole freaking time. Yikes. Uh, here, go back to the periscope depth. I'm gonna verify that. <laughs> Verify our range to target on the crane only place. If he's really that close, I should be able to see him, unless he's like going faster. Okay, well, that's not even what I wanted to pick up. Uh, it should be more over. Yeah, this guy. It can be a tracker. Master 4. How fast do you go, Mr. 4? Still going 10 knots. Sierra 11, whoever the hell this guy. Oh, that's the uh, that's the Delta on reciprocal. All right, let's uh, raise the scope and train on over to 270. Seems like the Grisha is that close based on the solution. Being on 10 knots, that's the only thing that works. No course changes, going pretty constant. 16 times zoom. Well, this visibility is shit. I probably won't be able to see crap. Oh well, hello, hello, hello. There he is. Speak of the frickin' devil. Uh, let's, uh, now he's too far away. I won't be able to see him, even if he is surface, I don't think. Well, let's, it's worth a shot, 118. Well, here, Mark, candid camera, New contact bitch. Two, seven, four. What were we talking about over here? 118? Is that what it was? Yeah. 118. Now, I'm pretty sure he's submerged. And those other greases are too far off. I shouldn't be able to see them. Damn, I'm not seeing shit. Loa. Our course is 162. Very well. Okay. Okay, what was that ping that I just picked up? That really close one. Okay, I'm kind of in the baffles of that guy. I might be able to juice it up here and try and follow this delta. Oh, I'm worried about juicing it up, though. I don't want to be detected. Well, I'm not in Russian territorial water, so what? I mean, all I gotta do is just like bear down on my ass if they detect me. What's the age on these contacts here? Okay, haven't picked him up in a while. Sierra 10. I don't know if it's gonna tell me what the age is for Sierra 10. <laughs> I don't know. Make my depth one. Seems everyone six, stopped pinging one, all of a sudden. Feet, dive Let's check out the solution on Master 3, but wow. Freaking Grease is right damn there, man. <laughs> Yeah, well, smile, bitch, you're on the camera, camera. VO1, let's see where VO1 puts it. With Master 4. Moich. Moich the contacts, Moich him. Yeah, I mean, he's somewhere right there, really close to me. <laughs> Pretty freaking scary close. I do appear to be in his baffles, potentially in his baffles, and he's going, well, he's not coming that fast. Oh, I wanted to check the solution on the delta here. Maybe a slight turn. It still seems to be going pretty constant, pretty far away. But I can still pick him up. I mean, how fast can I really go? If I go 15 knots, I'm just, it's just going to keep him from getting too far from me. I can't really catch up to him. I have to go like 20, 25 knots or something ridiculous, man. <laughs> Does it list my tactical speed in the platform reference here? Tactical speed is how far is how fast you're supposed to go while maintaining silence. I mean, it's a pretty vague measure. It's like, well, 
at what depth, at what range, like who is listening. So I guess it's like some kind of silly weighted average or something for tactical speed. I don't think they list it here. I think they list tactical speed for the sea wolf just because it's supposed to be ridiculous or something. Photo. Hello. Uh, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Is the Chicago? No, the Chicago is not a 688i. I thought it was. Springfield is. So I guess we won't be playing as the actual Chicago in this, unfortunately. Why the hell are the Boise and the Hartford have changed names? That is odd. Odd indeed. I guess those cities weren't satisfied with their submarine, so they wanted each other's submarine. Or maybe it's some like sister city bullshit, twin cities, I don't know. Whatever. Okay, we're about to come up to our turn here. Okay, well, ugh, I don't know what else to do for this mission really here. I can't... I mean, if I go to 15 knots, I'm going to be making a whole hell of a lot of noise. I don't even know if any of my toads are still going to work at that speed. 